too. Come on, Doolittle. And remember, drinks are to be paid for or not drunk. Ah. Thanks for your hospitality, George. <laughs> Send the bill to Buckingham Palace. Come on. Well, I'll be, there's nothing else to do, I guess. It's back to work. What? Don't you dare mention that word in my presence again. Look at all these poor blighters down here. <laughs> I used to do that sort of thing once, just for exercise. <laughs> Not worth it. Takes up your whole day. Ah, don't worry, boys. We'll get out of this somehow. How do you think you're going to do that, Alfie? Oh, same as always. Faith, hope, and a little bit of luck. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron so he could do his job and never shirk. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, someone else will do the blinking work. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck you'll never work. The Lord above made liquor for temptation to see if man could turn away from sin. The Lord above my liquor for temptation, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, when temptation comes, you'll give right in. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you'll give right in. Oh, you can walk the straight and narrow, but with a little bit of luck, you'll run amok. The gentle sex was made for man to marry, to share his nest and see his food is cooked. The gentle sex was made for man to marry, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can have it all and not get hooked. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you won't get off. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of blooming luck. They're always throwing goodness at you, but with a little bit of luck, a man can duck. The Lord above made man to help his neighbour, no matter where. On land or sea or foam, the Lord above made man to help his neighbour. But with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you who comes around, you won't be home. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit. Lucky man now, the Honourable Alfie Doolittle. What are you doing in Eliza's house? A former residence. <laughs> you can buy your own things now, Alfie Doolittle. Fallen into a tub of butter, you have. What are you talking about? Your daughter Eliza. Oh, you're a lucky man, Alfie Doolittle. Well, what about Eliza? Ah, he don't know. Her own father, and he don't know. <laughs> Moved in with a swell, Eliza has. Left her in the taxi all by herself, smart as paint, and ain't been home for three days. Go on. Then this morning I get a message from her. She wants her things sent over to 27A, Wimpole Street, care of Professor Regan's. <laughs> and what things does she want? What? A birdcage and a Chinese fan. <laughs> <laughs> But, she says, never mind about sending any clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she had a career in front of her. <laughs> Any boy, we're in for a booze-up. The sun is shining on Alfred P. Doolittle. <laughs> a man was made to help support his children, which is the right and proper thing to do. A man was made to help support his children, but... With a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, they'll go out and start supporting you. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, they'll work for you. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit.
to go philandering and fill his wife's poor heart with grief and doubt. Oh, it's a crime for man to go philandering, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can see the bloodhound don't find out. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck she won't find out. Charlie! With a little bit. 